Hello, hello. Welcome to Reading Time. My name's Time, and this week we're reading Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Let's get to reading. Coraline is a children's horror novel about a girl named Coraline who moves into a new house. This house has been split up into four different apartments, and behind one door in her apartment, there is a brick wall. Later on, she comes back and unlocks the door, only to discover that it leads to an alternate version of the house. This alternate house, or other house, has other versions of all of the people living there except for Coraline. And at first, everything seems to be better than her normal life, but her other mother wants her to change and to stay there forever. Now, I was a little nervous to read this book because I had seen the movie and hadn't really enjoyed it because it had been a little too scary for me. But I have also read The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman for an earlier book in this reading challenge, and I really enjoyed it. So I did try to go into this reading with open eyes, and I'm glad I did because I really enjoyed the book. In fact, I am going to give this book a five-star rating. While this book definitely fits in the horror genre, I didn't find it too creepy or scary, but that may be because I was familiar enough with the story already, having seen the movie. Or it may just be that Gaiman's writing is very well done. Either way, this is definitely a book I would recommend, especially for those who enjoy the horror genre, including young readers who enjoy the genre. Now, it should be noted that this book does contain violence. Coraline is chased by strange creatures at different points, a rat is decapitated by a cat, and the other mother wants to sew buttons into Coraline's eyes. There are also some ghost children who were kind of eaten away by the other mother, as well as some other scary elements. So this book is definitely not for a lighthearted or tenderhearted reader, but I still found it quite enjoyable. Reading level-wise, I would put this at a 4th through 8th grade reading level. The themes and messages in the book fit well for that age group, and Coraline herself falls within that age group. One thing I really like about this book is the main overarching theme, which is that bravery is not the absence of fear, but instead bravery is doing things even when you are scared. I found that to be a pretty profound theme for a children's book, and one that can be applied to a lot of different situations. Additionally, this book contains a lot of foreshadowing, so that is a literary element that you can go over with your younger readers, as well as other horror elements. There's also a lot of good opportunity for in-depth discussion, and overall, I just think this is a well-done book. For the poster square for this week, we are near the bottom on the edge with a pair of buttons to represent those button eyes. Let me know what you think of Coraline in the comments below if you have read the book or seen the movie, and let me know if you have any other book recommendations. If you are not already, feel free to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Facebook or Instagram for updates about what I'm reading. And as always, have a marvelous week and a wonderful read. Music